Hello, ah. <laughs> hello, music lovers. This is Cat with Hats, and finally, I met a drummer with his drum set, Klaus Hessler. Yeah, yeah. Da, yeah. Okay. Thank you for letting me come in. My drop, pleasure. Drop in. Um, Klaus is a very renowned German uh, drum set educator. He's even a professor in South Korea. Correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he learned a great deal from Jim Chapin and his um, mentor Dom Famulero. We're standing just right beside us, so we might even have a little cameo from Dom. <laughs> like, yeah, sneak maybe, it in. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, he uh, published four drum method books by now and the DVD. Yes, correct. Correct, correct. <clears throat> and of course, he's also a very fine uh, drummer which you can see in numerous videos and recordings. I'll put some links together, which you can check in the info box below. So, Klaus, can you think of an exercise that is a great help for your students or has been of great help for yourself? Well, f first of all, uh I'm a, I'm a big fan of rudiments and orchestrating them around the kit is uh, of course something that everybody looks into. I think so. And um, usually if you orchestrate a rudiment around the kit, you just orchestrate one limb to like one surface, one sound surface at a time. And usually you never break it up for two sound surfaces for one hand. So we will look into different options of what you can do when you orchestrate a paradiddle, not just between two surfaces, but uh, organizing a system that includes four or five or how many as you wish to. Okay. Yeah. Can you show us? Yes. Definitely. Great. We'll start off with a very simple rudiment. Let's take a paradiddle. And uh, I will orchestrate my right hand between the floor tom and the remote hat here. And uh, my left hand between my standard hi-hat and the snare, which will then automatically cause the fact that uh, you don't hear too much of what you would usually expect from a paradiddle. So now it would be... Okay, so that's one thing. You can choose to also uh, um, have different starting positions. So you might start on the two hats. You might start um, like on the hat and the snare. And so forth, right hand, left hand starting. So there's a couple of options. You can also choose different rhythms. So for instance, pick a paradiddle in triplet shape, which would make this here. So that creates some nice options where you would never feel it's about a paradiddle. And this is uh, one thing that I really like about the system. It doesn't taste or it, it, it doesn't smell too much like a rudiment performed on the drum set, which is always a, a good thing that I like about it. Of course, also pick more complicated rudiments. You can pick Swiss or French rudiments, which are not too well known in the US. So uh, the options are pretty much endless, but the, the key thing is to not just use one sound source in one of your hands, but to split it up between two different sound sources and then also 
really follow a system. That's it. Well, that was uh, Klaus's treat. Uh, thank you very much for that. I just have one more question. Yes. What would you call that exercise? Well, uh, as Dom just said, I would, <laughs> I would recommend uh, to call it multi-surface rudiments, a multi-surface parallel in that case, okay. uh, which pretty much, pretty much hits it. All I right. Think. Yeah. So hit it too and okay. check out Klaus. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.